Uh, in, this, uh, in this section, uh, we talk about the compatibility equations uh, for the string components. Um, in the last section, we talk about the equilibrium equation for stress. See, uh, if you have a set of uh, uh, stress components, they must satisfy the equilibrium equation. Now, similarly, if you have a, uh, a set of uh, string components, then they must satisfy some equations. But what should be this equation? Uh, this equation uh, is called the uh, compatibility equation. Uh, let me derive the equation for you. Uh, for example, we have the string written like this, the string written like this. And then we differentiate the absolute xx with respect to y. Uh, uh, we differentiate it twice to get this expression. This one, this one, and this one, this one. And then we can differentiate the absolute y, y with respect to x twice too. And then we, from here we get this, and from here we get this one. And we can also differentiate the, dif uh, the shear string with, with, with respect to x and y. Uh, and then the right hand side with respect to x and y. To, from here we get this, and from this, and we get this. And then we, uh, we, we can see this. This term is equal to this term. So this term can be replaced by this term, written right here. And this term equal to this term. So we put this term to here. So uh, finally, we end up with a relation to to uh, relate the shear string with the normal string. So we, we write the equation right here. This one is equivalent to this one. See, the normal shear string, absolute xx, and the normal shear string, absolute yy, can be related to the shear string by the differential equation. Okay? We call this the compatibility equation uh, for the two-dimensional de deformation. Uh, what is the meaning? The meaning is this. If a given set of uh, string component okay, uh, doesn't satisfy the compatibility, uh, compatibility equation, then no displacement UV can be computed. Okay, what do you mean? It means that um, a given set of uh, string uh, component may not be come from real situation. Maybe uh, come from your uh, pure imaginary. It is not real, just a mathematical game. You assign uh, some uh, mathematical formula for the string components. They may be you know, just a pure mathematical game. There is no physical situation corresponding to such kind of mathematical uh, expression. So um, if you uh, have a unreal uh, set of uh, string component, then you shouldn't have uh, any displacement field to, 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 re uh, to be related to this set of, of uh, string component. Let us uh, illustrate this uh, point uh, by some example. Example one, huh? uh, we assign the absolute xx equal to one absolute y, y equal to 1, absolute x, y equal to x, y. And I, we want to check that this set of um, string component doesn't satisfy the, the compatibility equation. And then uh, the displacement field uv cannot be found. Okay? Uh, first step, let us uh, look at the, uh, the, compute, uh, the computation here. Uh, Puzzle absolute xx plus y twice equal to zero because absolute xx equal to one. Huh? And then parcel absolute y y plus x twice equal to zero too because absolute y y equal to one huh? because these are the given condition. Uh, likewise, uh, the shear uh, uh, string can be uh, differentiated too. And, but now this time we don't get, uh, uh, we don't obtain zero because absolute x y equal to x y, and then we 
differentiated with respect to x and with respect to y, the result is 1. Now we put all this result to the compatibility equation and we found that the left hand side is equal to 0 plus 0 and the right hand side equal to 2 and 0 lot plus uh, lot equal to 2. So this compatibility, uh, compatibility equation is not satisfied. Okay, uh, you can say that uh, it doesn't matter uh, even though it doesn't uh, satisfy the compatibility equation but you know, uh, we still can compute the uh, uh, displacement maybe uh, let us try huh? we have the absolute xx equal to 1 absolute yy equal to 1 absolute xy equal to xy and then uh, 1 equal to parcel u parcel x 1 equal to parcel v parcel y huh? Uh, because absolute xx equal to parcel u parcel x, right? From this, we can compute the displacement u, like this. u equal to parcel u parcel x integrated with respect to dx. And then uh, we should have a arbitrary function here because this is a uh, integration constant. Because uh, this one is, uh, this differentiation is a partial differentiation. It, it differentiates it. Uh, with respect to x. So the uh, integration constant is a function of y, okay? Uh, you can check this. If you put this one into here, you will get nothing, okay? So this is the integration constant. Now parcel u parcel x equal to 1. So the integration is direct. Um, it gives you uh, x. So u equal to x plus uh, function y. Uh, this function f is a, a arbitrary function. Uh, likewise, the second relation gives us v equal to y plus gx. Now, uh, you, you shouldn't say that the uh, displacement field has been found because there are some unknown functions here. So how to determine the function? Uh, the functions, we put this u and this v into the Third equation, the shear strain. Shear strain equal to xy and then we equal to uh, one half parcel u parcel y parcel v parcel x. We put this u and this one into here and this v and this, this one into here to get this expression. Okay? Uh, so this one here, this one here. Now, perform the differentiation. Parcel x parcel y equal to zero, this one. Parcel y parcel x equals zero, this one. And parcel f parcel y equal this one. And parcel g parcel x equal to this one. So the left hand side is xy, the right hand side is this. Now we differentiate the left hand side and the right hand side um, by x at the same time. Huh? So the left hand side become y because we differentiate it with respect to x. And the right hand side differentiate it with respect to x to give you what? This one give you zero, so zero. And this one give you the second order def derivative of g, like this. So we get y equal to one half uh, uh, dg dx uh, twice. Okay, um, now, a contradiction has been derived. What? See, uh, this function g is a function of, uh, of x. It differentiates with, resp uh, with respect to x. How come you will get a function of y here? So it is impossible. So uh, it is impossible to find a function gx. So since the gx cannot be found, then u cannot be, uh, v cannot be found. So low displacement can be found by, the, by this kind of computation. Uh, why? Because the compatibility equation is not satisfied. So compatibility, uh, compatibility equation is uh, very important. If it is not satisfied, then you are working uh, with an uh, unreal problem uh, with low displacement. Now, in the second example, uh, uh, we, ha we consider a set of strings 
absolute xx equal to y square, absolute yy equal to x square, and absolute xy equal to 2xy. And then uh, we check that the compatibility equation is satisfied, and the displacement can be found. Huh? First, we compute this one, huh? this one, and this one, this one. The, and we put all this differentiation into the compatibility equation. Uh, this term equal to 2, and this term equal to 2, huh? and this term equal to 2, so 2 plus 2 equal to 2 times 2 equal to 2 times this one, but because this one equal to this one, so this is 2 too. So you can see this, the compatibility equation is satisfied. Uh, in this case, uh, the uh, displacement field can be computed. Uh, let us uh, see uh, how we do it. Uh, the absolute xx uh, equal to y square equal to partial u partial x. And then u can be found by the integration. u equal to partial u partial x dx integrate. Uh, in, uh, integrate. And then pass a um, integration constant, which is a function of y. Huh? Uh, now, partial u partial x equal to y square, uh, as uh, have been given before. Huh? So the integration will give us y square x, because y and x are independent to each other. So the integration is easy. This one is just equal to x y square. And then, uh, in the same way, uh, the second equation will give v, uh, will, will give us v equal to x square y plus gx. Okay, and then uh, f and g are unknown functions. We put this u and this v into the third equation like this. Okay, to get uh, this one and this one. Here, this one is this one, and this one is this one. This one stands for u. This one stands for v. Okay, and then we uh, differentiate. Um, this term uh, with respect to y to get 2xy, right? 2xy here. We differentiate this term with respect to x to get 2xy right here. And this one, just this. And this that one with respect to x is just this. Okay? Now, uh, the left hand side equal to 2xy. The right hand side equal to 1 half bracket 2xy plus 2xy. So this two term can be cancelled out with this one because we have one half here, remember. So finally we end up with 0 equal to this one plus this one. Huh? Okay, And then we differentiate the left hand side and right hand side with respect to x. Okay, The left hand side remains 0. The right hand side, if we Differentiate with respect to x, this one will be 0, just like this. And this one will become the second order derivative of the function g. Okay? And now, uh, the second order derivative of g equals 0, it means that it is a, a straight line. Okay, straight line. So gx equal to kx plus c2. Okay? Or uh, uh, you can differentiate. You can uh, integrate this differentiation once to get dg dx equal to k. And then in integrate again to get g equal to kx plus c2. Now, uh, we, had, we had already obtained gx. Okay? Uh, from equation 4, huh, we put this gx into here to get co equal to this one plus this one. Right? gx equal to this one. Now, the this one with respect to x will give you k only. Okay, will give you only k. Yeah? Yes, this one. Huh? Uh, this one. So um, we can obtain df dy equal to minus k, and then we integrate it to get uh, fy equal to minus ky plus c1. Huh? So some, uh, we summarize all the uh, results. We, have, we are given the, this set of uh, string components. And then uh, this set of string components satisfy the compatibility equation. And then we integrate the string to get the 
displacement u equal to this, u v equal to this. But now you may ask me, Professor, uh, uh, in the expression of u, there are some unknown constants still, right? k and c1 are unknown, and here k and c2 are unknown. So what do you mean that you can obtain uh, the displacement field? I tell you, uh, see at the very beginning, we are given the string components. It means that the absolute value uh, of the displacement cannot be found. What we can find are the, the displacements from the string, right? This part, uh, this part, these two terms are the displacement computed from the string. But how about these terms? These terms are the displacement come from some rigid body motion, okay? They are not related to the string. They are related to some rigid body motion. Uh, K is related to rigid rotation. C1 and C2 are related to the rigid translation. Understand? So, uh, at the very beginning, we are given some string. How come we can uh, determine the displacement uh, come from the rigid mo uh, motion? So, low way. Low way we can do this. We, what we can we can obtain is the displacement related to the string but not to the rigid notation and rigid translation. So this uh, set of displacement field are exactly the set of displacement field come from the string. Okay. So uh, in this uh, example we have seen that uh, if the uh, string components uh, satisfy the compatibility equation, then uh, the displacement field can be computed. 